Welcome back. Now the pistons are out, I thought I'd run a series of experiments for you to show you what does work and what doesn't work from the piston mod. So let me just jump in. First, let me show you lighting. Uh, we have a piston in front of a, uh, holding a block in front of a torch. As we move the piston, the torch light gets through, and you can see it clearly changes the lighting. So variable lighting is going to work. Um, this is supposed to set up the, uh, the case where two blocks pushing at the same time will break the block. As you can see it doesn't work anymore. Uh, Jeb had actually said this in some of the Reddit comments, but you can verify for yourself now that it doesn't work. Um, this is, uh, if you've seen my other video with the uh, elevator proof of concept, this is a similar design, but with no repeaters. I saw that the pistons were working faster than, than they worked in the piston mod, so I wanted to see if they would work uh, without any repeaters because it, it goes a lot faster that way. And as you can see, it goes up, but then it doesn't retract properly because this, uh, this piston isn't fully retracted by the time that this piston tries to retract. So that doesn't work. You still need repeaters for, for the elevator. Um, so next, I thought I'd try pushing a minecart onto some powered tracks. As you can see, it does push the minecart, but the minecart doesn't actually gain any momentum. Uh, to fix that, I have this one, push the minecart onto a ramp section, and the minecart gains momentum on its own because it's on a, because it's on a hill. Um, one last thing, this is a sticky piston. It'll actually pull the track, and in fact it even resets it. I think this is a bug, so this will probably get fixed eventually, but something to be aware of. Um, moving on. Here we have a setup for a Pez dispenser, so you can see that you can put up uh, a cart on the top, and this block will actually block this cart from getting pushed, even though it's, it, it get, tries to get pushed by this piston, and there's a ramp section here like we had before. So you push, take the cart off, um, and the rest of the carts fall by one. So this is a really easy new replacement for the typical Pez dispenser where you don't need a monostable circuit or anything. Pretty convenient. Um, here's a sticky block picking up a sand block. You can see it picks it up and then it drops it immediately once it's got it. Here's the... Um, this is a, a circuit component, sort of. The There's a redstone um, going into a repeater and that powers this block, which powers this redstone. At, when we push the block, uh, the glass doesn't carry the power anymore. So the redstone turns off. And then we can push it back into place. I just wanted to test that the uh, all the physics were working and it actually got updated. So that does work. So that's kind of neat. Uh, similarly, we have a redstone torch under this under this wood block, which, which powers the block, which powers this redstone. We push the block, it powers the redstone pull it back in. So that, that also works. Um, I wanted to see what would happen if a uh, piston pushed an object on the ground that it couldn't push. You can see it turns it into an item. Uh, we can do the same thing for tracks, except it does actually push tracks as we saw before. So it kind of depends on what you're pushing. Uh, similarly, uh, we have an item on top of a block that the that the piston pushes, it'll it'll pop off, and if it's a track, it also pops off. So uh, that's a bit of different behavior. Here we have 12 blocks. That's the pushing limit for pistons. As you can see, it pushes 12. Here we have the same setup with 13 blocks. Push it. Okay, can't push it. So the piston limit actually is 12. Um, what do we have? This is a boat and a piston. So as you can see, it pushes it. It actually did give it a little bit of momentum, which is kind of curious. But this is a this is probably a good way to launch boats. Um, if you have a boat on top of a piston, I don't know, nothing too interesting. Yeah, same with the cart. It's not that interesting. Uh, although you can do something like this, where you push it up with one piston, push it forward with another onto a ramp. I don't know, not actually that useful, but kind of interesting. Um, I wanted to see what would happen if if a person was pushed by pistons and had nowhere to go, if they would suffocate or something. You can see, suffocate. They just 
can't push you anywhere, so you just stay still and nothing happens. So no suffocation that way, although if you had blocks, uh, you would suffocate there. Um, so this is uh, a button hooked up to two redstone uh, torches. So when I push the button, they both turn at the same time. I wanted to see what would happen, which one would push first. Um, it turns out that the back one pushes first. Well, I wanted to see if that was some sort of southwest rule, so I made it in all four directions. And it turns out the back one always pushes first. So, I don't know exactly what the rule is here, but that's sort of interesting. There isn't a southwest rule for that. Um, on the other hand, we have uh, two sticky pistons and a, uh, a piston or a block in the middle. Somebody was positing that, that it would make the server crash. So you can see it doesn't make the server crash. One of them does grab it, so this must have a southwest rule involved, but that's what happens. It doesn't stay still or break anything. Um, I wanted to see what would happen if I hooked up a um, a piston to a rapid pulsar. So this thing will pulse really fast, and it'll it'll push and pull the uh, the piston rapidly, so this can go really fast, so that's kind of cool. Here we have uh, four still water blocks over four extended pistons and another one here, so you can see when we extend the piston, it'll break the water, uh, and then when we pull it back, the water will flow and it'll form another still water block because it has two adjacent still water blocks. Um, if we retract uh, uh, both of these pistons and then contract this one, um, you can see it's it doesn't uh, it doesn't form a still block because there's there's no floor beneath it. So this is kind of interesting. You can you can. Choose when to make still blocks or not. Um, here we have, if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, I, I have something similar with hatches. Um, this works. Uh, this is pistons holding ramp, uh, carts on a ramp. As you can see, if I retract the piston, the cart's released. And if I can push it back onto the ramp, uh, oops, just turn the piston, and then we push it back onto the ramp and it gets stuck there. Um, so this is kind of neat. Uh, I was saying before you can make a minecart stage with it. This time uh, there's nothing above the above the cart so you don't get suffocated so that's kind of ni nice uh, as opposed to hatches. And so I, don't know, I still think there might be some way to make a, uh, a pet suspenser out of this. But kind of neat. And then last one I just wanted to make sure that the power to the TNT was updated when you push the piston, and it turns out it is, so... so uh, some pretty interesting experiments with pistons, and uh, I'm going to be exploring these a lot more in the days to come. Anyway, hope this is informational. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.